What up, YouTube Digital? Let's talk Trayvon Martin. Oh God, that's blowing up like a like a f like flies on shit. What are you? First off, see, I want to start it one this video one way, but I gotta put a disclaimer. Otherwise, people will think that I'm going a different way before I go this way. So. What I mean is, is I want to talk about people's reaction to this bullshit and some of the shit I've been seeing and how fucking retarded they are. But by saying that, by by accusing these stupid people of, you know, like calling the cops and, and demanding justice when they are not even allowing the cops to, uh, I don't know, do their job, shit like that. By saying shit like that, people would immediately respond thinking that I am pro Zimmerman or something. That's not exactly true. So let this be a little forewarning that um, I am not pro Zimmerman, but I will say that all of these ass munch dumb fucks who are going around and, you know, saying, starting videos and you know, making Facebook petitions and all this other stupid fucking bullshit about arresting Zimmerman right now are nothing but a bunch of fucking retarded jackasses that have no fucking knowledge of anything about the law or anything else. And I'm not talking about the law about whether or not he's guilty or not. Okay, so don't be construed there. Because that's instantly what your weak-minded, dumb shit ass would think. But no, I'm not talking about his guilt versus his innocence. I'm talking about the fact of what the law says. The law says they can't arrest someone they're not going to fuck. They don't have the evidence. They can arrest them, they can hold them. Okay, then they have to release them. And every time they do shit like that, it just makes them look bad, so they don't do it. Now, you people have gotten accustomed to cops arresting people at the crime scene. Well, yes, cops can arrest people at the crime scene if there's amount of evidence they believe there will be no problem with filing charges with. The cops will do it. Then the cops, even though they make up all these charges and everything else, it goes to the DA. The DA decides what really what charges are going to be filed, and they go further. And once a child, the charges are filed, the prisoner stays in until the court sets bail. Okay? Now, if there's not enough evidence to show clearly that the person is guilty of a crime, the cops generally are not going to arrest them. It does not mean they're fucking innocent. It just means they did not have anything on them at that point. Most of this evidence that's coming out against a person was not there at the time of the incident. If you listen to some of these um, testimony, not testimonies, um, uh, bullshit that people are saying, most of these so-called eyewitness didn't even witness it. They heard it. Okay, so I won't even get into that. But the fact is, is everybody's bombarding this police station are fucking idiots. They have to deal with you rather than dealing with this. Now, let me bring in an important case where this all, this type of situation happened and where it backfired on every individual that's that was a part of it. You ready for this? Casey motherfucking Anthony. Here's a prime example where the court of public opinion and bullshit in an overzealous ZA file fucking charges on on her. They didn't have a body. They didn't have any real evidence. <clears throat> they go to court and she gets acquitted. Every jury member said, yeah, that evidence is bullshit. Doesn't mean I think she's innocent. Okay? Really, personally, I think the dad did it. But... I didn't think, I, I'm not saying she wasn't part of it. But, doesn't matter what I think. Matters what the evidence was put in the courtroom. The evidence that they put in the courtroom was not good enough at all. Nowhere close to it. 
that DA should be fired. The people in Florida have been ripped off. They, the people in Florida should demand, you know, the protesting that's going on right now should go to the DA in Florida about why that, those stupid dumbasses even went. Oh, they did because of TV. That's why. They didn't want the case to, you know, fall out. That's, that's a real motivator. Let's be real. But that was an injustice because they went too soon. Okay. Not every crime gets settled within the first, you know, few days. Let's be real, because the news travels so fast on the internet, we think crime should be minority poor. But when we look at minority report, everybody goes, oh no, we don't want that. Well, pick a fucking medium. But reality, there's already a medium. It's called law. Okay? The law is what it is. They can arrest this person five years from now. Okay, so don't worry. If there's evidence to prove he did something wrong, they're going to try him. Okay? Don't worry about that. The FBI is involved, possible hate crime, everything else. So when the evidence is all there, it was, now it's going to be a jurisdiction deal. Where if there's more evidence to show a hate crime, it's going to go federal, <clears throat> federally. If it's not, it goes state. Now, see... If people would have, if the cops would have jumped and done something because people kept calling them and crying, they would have pressed charges they had no evidence to support. The guy would have probably got off, and the government wouldn't even have had a chance to do a hate crime on him. So slow your roll, back the fuck up, and chill the fuck out. Now, as far as what he did, okay, I will say this. I'm the type of person that generally is innocent until proven guilty. In this case, it seems pretty extremely overwhelming that, uh, wow. Um, still, there could be some evidence that supports him not being charged that has not been released yet it is not uncommon for police departments not to release all the information do I think that's gonna happen no do I think he's gonna end up being charged yes do I think he would be found guilty yes do I think if he isn't found guilty of a criminal crime he's gonna fucking he's gonna get his ass raped in civil oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. But that's my opinion. But that opinion is based off of what I've officially read. Not people's bullshit opinions. Not people's fucking bullshit blogs or any of this other bullshit. This is from official statements. This is from the 911 tapes. This is from everything else. And you know, the 911 tapes, what people don't understand what's really dragging this, this case on, the key issue is that 911 tape that you hear somebody yelling help. Now, everybody wants to believe that's the kid yelling help. To be honest, I'd like to believe that too. Actually, no, I really don't want to believe that because that really makes that guy a jackass. Well, it makes him a, a fucking piece of shit, but I don't want to believe it, but in, in, in deep down, I'm pretty sure it's him. But in reality, none of us have proof to know who it is. That's the truth. The truth is, is that right now, without any official evidence, testimony by people who know what the fuck they're doing, that 911 tape, the only thing it says is somebody within the vicinity of that phone yelled help. Now, the person refused to go figure out who it was on the phone. They didn't want to look. So they can't even really use their, their statement is kind of pointless. Again, I think it is the case, but I have no way of proving it. But the FBI does. And in order to do that, they have to do voice prints and everything else. That doesn't just happen. You know, they don't just, oh yeah, that's a kid, sign off on it. They have to do all the other things. They got to first, they have to, uh, you know, um, 
make sure that the the recording is official to begin with. It's not been edited at all and everything else. There's a lot of shit that they have to do. So anyway, let's get to the actual circumstances. I will say this, and I'm going to use this analogy because there's too many fucking people on YouTube that are all, I keep hearing talk about they're going to shoot somebody and all these stupid fucking situations that are so fucking convoluted. It's just bullshit. Now, I do believe in the right to protect yourself. If somebody breaks into your house, it's trying to fuck you up or whatever, do what you got to do. If they die, oh well. That's, you know, I don't care. But let me use this analogy. If you go get a pillowcase, put it over your head, and go down to L.A., go down Compton or Crenshaw or whatever, go down there in the hoods, down deep into Compton, and all the projects and everything else, and you're walking down the street yelling racial slurs, and somebody comes running up to fucking punch you and knock the shit out of you, and you pull out a gun and you plug them. Now, let's look at that situation there. <clears throat> Is it self-defense? Well, technically the act is in self-defense. Him shooting the guy is in self-defense. Yes, but what the guy was doing would not be considered self-defense because he provoked. He completely, 100% provoked the attack. That's would make it not self-defense. People really need to pull their head out of their ass. Matter of fact, this is uh, this is one thing that uh, we spent like almost an hour on, you know, in the, the CCW about you know perceived, you know, and all this other bullshit. And when it comes down to it. If you have to use your firearm, a knife, your your fingers, whatever to to uh, in somebody's life in self-defense, the district attorney in the police department and everything else are going to look at it, and they're going to go based on the evidence, okay? And they're going to either they're either going to charge you with homicide, some sort from manslaughter all the way up to murder. Or they will close the case as uh, homicide by uh, by justification, meaning you had a reason to end that person's life, mainly self-defense. That stays on your record. You're not charged with it, but that's how the case is closed. In California, that's a 190, a 187's homicide, murder, penal code, 187. Um, Penal code for homicide justifiable is either 192 or 196, but it stays on your record. Employer 10 years from now will see it, so uh, we'll see it on that. And I think it, it goes on the FBI one, but anywho, if you provoke the attack, like if you're in a bar fight, if you're in a bar, you're drinking, you somebody calls your your woman a whore and you grab a IQ stick and, and you swing at the guy so the guy just comes up and fucking banks you and then you pull out your gun that's not self-defense you provoked the attack you went on and you know went first now let's kind of look at the case real quick the guy was in his car he was I don't know there I don't know what the whole situation, whether he was on, quote, active or whatever, neighborhood watch bullshit. And he saw the kid walking down the street. This is going by his statements and 911 call transcripts. He, The kid was walking down the street. He had his hood on. It's raining. He wasn't moving fast enough. And the kid, I guess, apparently, now it's coming out. Information's coming out. Now the kid noticed the guy because he was, told his girlfriend, whatever. But anyhow. The guy called 911 and the guy was saying the kid was on drugs and everything else. 
the demon guy made a statement as all these assholes get away or something to that effect. Why he would even make that statement for somebody who's just on drugs is ridiculous. And then the guy decided to get out of the car and start following him even when a 911 operator told him not to, to wait for the cop. Now here's the problem I have. The guy ended up following a kid in between a row of um, townhouses. And then at that point, now I'm going off of base because kind of the 911 and the official transcripts end in, you know, from what, you know, the, the guy told the cops. But if, if you go by the girlfriend's story, uh, and hers so far is, you know, it's mostly hearsay because there's nothing to, you know, 100% prove it, but it matches the scenario. The guy did something. You know, he tried to stop the kid. You know, the girlfriend is saying the kid noticed the guy following him. And then all of a sudden, you know, he obviously caught up to the kid. The kid was um, only 70 feet or something from his family member's house. And a guy, you know, the kid was going somewhere. He wasn't doing anything wrong. And the guy tried to stop him or do whatever, the f question him or whatever the fuck. Well, even if you're a neighborhood watch... I don't have a right to... The kid didn't do anything. Okay? Even if you're on drugs, if you're walking down the street and walking home, oh well. You don't have a right to go fuck with the person. You know, if I was a kid and somebody came running up on me and I know I didn't do anything wrong, you know, it's not like, oh yeah, I broke the car window and stole the stereo. Now, now the guy's chasing me. No. I knowing I didn't do anything wrong except for have a bag of Skittles and talking to my bitch. Yeah, I'm gonna probably tell the guy to go fuck himself. Maybe even more, you know. What if the guy try to stop me? You know, physically try to stop me. Well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend myself. Whatever gave that guy Zimmerman. The, the, the thought that he can just impede this kid's traffic, you know, impede this kid's movement, question this kid, or anything else, is beyond me. This is why I think, I'm pretty sure he's going to be charged. You know, I'm not going to get into the hate crime bullshit because, you know, like, from the pictures, that guy didn't look too white to me. But anyhow, I, that guy had no right to stop the kid. He had no right to do anything except for report it to the cops. That's it. And in reality is that kid didn't do anything. He walked from the convenience store to a family member's house and he never made it. Now, if you put yourself in a... If you go and you put yourself into a position that could be possible dangerous or whatever and you think you can do it because you have the safety of your firearm you're doing something you shouldn't be doing that guy clearly had no self-defense skills or anything else and he couldn't stop a 17 year old kid without shooting him and then waiting for a, a dramatic pause I don't know how long it was and then shooting him again Everybody that carries a firearm for self-defense really needs to look at this. You really need to understand that, yes, you can defend yourself, but you cannot become Superman with it. You cannot put yourself in situations you shouldn't be involved in. You cannot provoke the attack, and then, because you can't control the situation, you pull out your gun and you kill someone. And you're the one that fucking started it. That's not self-defense. You know, to me, you know... Don't rob me, bro. You know, this is the type of bullshit that I see on here a lot. And I've been saying that, you know, once something like this goes fucking viral, 
not going to be able to stop the fucking backlash of it. And even though, you know, there's most of the people who have guns are legit, you know, gun owners with the fucking brain and everything else, but even one or two jackasses can fuck it up for everybody. And if you live in California or Massachusetts, you probably understand what the what I mean. <clears throat> Don't tolerate people talking like this. Don't tolerate fucking people making videos talking about they're just going to shoot people. It's one thing, yes. You do have a right to defend yourself. If you're at the ATM machine, somebody comes up to you and robs you. Hey, whatever. Somebody tries to carjack you. Whatever. You know, you're at home. Somebody breaks in and tries to fucking kill you. Whatever. I don't give a shit about the castle law. I don't give a shit about the retreat. I don't give a shit about the stand. Okay? The fact is, is when you walk down the street of fucking Compton, start yelling racial slurs, and then pop somebody, it fucking comes to kick your ass that's not self defense when you fucking hit somebody or, or start a fight in a fucking pool hall and you, you're getting your ass whooped so you have to get out your gun that's not self defense giving putting a gun to your side or in your purse or anything else should not give you any sensation of being you know Superman. You shouldn't be getting in situations where the gun could even be a factor. That gun is not to come out unless it's the absolute necessity. You should not be trying to play hero. You should not be trying to play cop. Or anyone else. You know, when you fuck up, you end up killing someone that didn't need to die. You can't take that back. Not at all. Don't tolerate these people who make videos with this bullshit mentality that, you know, you gotta have a CCW or you're a fucking pussy. You gotta have to, you know, get involved in bullshit you shouldn't even be involved in. Defend yourself, defend your home as needed. Do not provoke an attack. Do not hinder somebody's movement. Do not act like a fucking cop because you have a gun or because you have some bullshit neighborhood watch syndrome or some bullshit elitist crap. That's uncalled for. And I can guarantee you that you will find yourself in a courtroom. Whether it be criminal or civil, you'll find it. So, anyway, peace.